Hello everyone. So today I am going to discuss about difference between queue and public group in Salesforce. This is one of the most frequently asked question in Salesforce interviews, both for developer as well as admin. So in this video, I will tell you how this question can be best answered with proper examples. So let's start. Basically, both public group and queues are collection of users. They store the user details in the form of list, but their purpose is completely different. Where queues are used as owners of records to give the ownership of the records, while public groups are used for security in order to share the access of records with users. This is the theoretical answer. Now let's see practically what is the difference which make these two applicable and uh, different in their own scenario. So first of all, we'll create a public group. We'll create one public group and one queue to see proper examples. Let's name this public group as masters group. Okay. And then you have to select the users which you want to assign into this public group. So this will store the list of users. Basically, it's a collection of users. Let's assign two users into this group. Okay. And save it. Now let's create one queue as well. And uh, name this queue as sales team Japan. Here you have to select additional option that is supported objects. So which in which object you want this queue to be supported. That you will know when you will actually use this. So let's select lead object where this queue can be utilized. And again, you have to select the users, which all users you want to assign to this queue. As we said that both of them are just collection of users. Okay. So creation is done. Now let's go to our screen page, UI page. And here, just to see the example, let's open any lead record. Okay. So we'll first understand the purpose of public group. So you will see currently this users owner will be the person who created it so he will have all the access basically to edit delete or do anything with this report so we can see that inside this sharing button click on edit here so see we can see who all which all users have access to this record currently the owner of the record have access he has all access but what if you want to enhance i mean upgrade the access accessibility of this record beyond the owner i mean you want to assign this users i assign this record to other users as well maybe so that other users can also access this record they can also view delete this so basically enhancing the security you want to share this record with other users so here if you see there are two options uh, there will be four options basically one that you can select individual user with whom you want to share this record you can select a public group as well. So we can just name our public group here. See, you can see the name of the public group which we just created. And inside this public group, there are two users. And you you can also provide what access you want to provide. So let's give read write access. Or maybe we can give read only access to the users inside that public group. Let's save this. Now, if you see the sharing, this record has been shared with this public group. So all the users inside this public group will have a read only access of this lead record, only this lead record. And this is what we call manual sharing. We are manually sharing this record with a group of users so they can access this record. Another example, you can see the purpose of public group is when we create sharing rule for any objects suppose for lead object we want to create a sharing rule sharing rule as you know is a enhancing the accessibility of records so you see there will be an option with whom you want to share the records first you will uh, define the criteria which all records you want to share then there will be option to select the users to share with here you will find the option called public groups here again 
so you can select your public group here it is masters group that we created so now you might have understand the purpose of public group is solely to create i mean grant access to use to records for those users in the public group okay i hope the public group part is now complete now let's move to the <coughs> purpose of queues so now as you can see the owner of the record is the creator of the record right now but what if you want to change the owner you want to assign this record to another user or a group of users so this is basically changing the ownership and that was sharing the record with other users here the entire owner will be changed so for ownership change you can you will see two options one is individual user you can make the owner of this record to an individual user or you can make the or assign this record to a group of users which is nothing but queue so we'll just select our queue here now you see sales team japan is the queue that we created and it is available here because we selected avail uh, supported objects as lead the same queue will not be available in other objects like account opportunity because we have not selected that as available as for supported objects so in order to support this queue to other objects you have to go to your queue and uh, assign those other objects as well under supported objects so that was the purpose of selecting the supported object when creating the queue i hope you understood that so now let's click on change owner so see the owner of the lead record is now changed to this queue now every user inside this queue we remember you remember we added two users inside this queue all of them will receive an email that hey this lead record has been assigned to you so this is like changing the ownership of the record now the owners of this record are those two users while public group is used to grant access to this record okay now this is the whole purpose and difference between a queue and a public group so queues are used to make the ownership change the ownership of the record while public group are used to grant access to the records i hope that was clear thank you